happy almost Halloween season, everyone. I was putting together the next uh, edition of my newsletter, the What's Your Ghost Story newsletter, and uh, where I'm going to recap the, all the fun and uh, adventures we had and a lot that we learned at the Michigan Paracon, which was just a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I want to talk about what, the, what seems to be a trend among the, the theories, among the, the big experts that we're all aware of. And um, I realized pretty quickly that it is a complicated one. It, was, it would be one that I could write out, but it might be hard to follow in the written form. So I thought I might as well just talk about it, and I'll put this in the newsletter, and if you happen to find it on YouTube instead, that's cool too. But it is the idea of these time overlaps. Um, and I always find it fascinating. The more we can look into this, the more we start to look at ideas that ghosts are something else. That it's not necessarily... Uh, the spirit of a dead person coming back. Maybe there's something else going on in the world of science that we don't understand yet. And this is one such theory. I first heard about this theory, uh, God, it has to be at least five years ago, from uh, Darkness Dave, Dave Schrader, who uh, spoke at the Chicago Paranormal Conference that Ursula Bielski puts on. He told this great conceptual story. It wasn't a true thing that happened, but he said, what if this? And he gave this scenario where he said his grandma would see three shadowy figures come in to the room as she's sitting down watching TV and then they would stand there for a beat and then they would scurry off and vanish. And he described them as just shadowy forms, so not definite, kind of the way we usually see ghosts. And then we jump ahead a decade or so and grandma has passed away and now, now we're there cleaning out the house and, and he's there with two friends and they go in to clear out the room and they see grandma sitting in her favorite chair watching TV where, where she would normally be watching TV and they freeze there for a moment and when they get their wits back they run off. So what exactly happened there? In, in this conceptual, this, this theoretical idea, were they seeing grandma or were they seeing through time grandma from 10 years prior before she passed away but at the same moment grandma was looking forward 10 years and seeing those people uh, her, her grandson and two of his friends before they scurried out of the room. So this was an idea that Dave Schrader, uh, and it, I'm sure other people have this idea from beforehand, as, as he talked about the idea that time is not linear, it is this, imagine a, a piece of string, but it's not just beginning to end, it's crumpled up into this ball, and maybe when we're seeing paranormal things, we're seeing these points where, these, where the string rubs against itself, and we can see some bleed through. A lot of a lot of shadow people concepts are ideas of bleed through, whether it's different dimensions or different times. So we jump ahead to just a couple of weeks ago, and I walk into the room and the wonderful, the fantastic John Tenney is giving a presentation. And, and this guy was a writer on Unsolved Mysteries, and that's all you need to know about his paranormal cred. He's in. He's an elite. He's a Hall of Famer. But he's done exceptional work ever since then, and, and is really one of the great storytellers in this, in this world of the paranormal. And he told a story that was almost exactly that, which was really just fascinating to hear because I hadn't heard anybody talk about this idea uh, until much later. And his story was a first-hand experience. Now, we jump ahead to just one more day, and the very next night, Grant Wilson is speaking. And of course, Grant Wilson, many of you would know him from being one of the Ghost Hunters from the sci-fi show Ghost Hunters. He related another paranormal experience that was a first-hand account where he was investigating a site two days in a row, and I won't spoil all the details because I know he's still going around. He will be at Shooting Star Casino in, uh, just outside of uh, Fargo uh, in just a couple of weeks, and we're hoping to see him there as well. Uh, but he related a story about investigating the same site two nights in a row with uh, a fellow, an assistant paranormal investigator, and on back-to-back -back nights, they had experiences where once they compiled what they saw this, uh, this shadow form do, they realized that they were seeing each other just one night apart. Is, why is it that suddenly this theory is beginning to take shape? Are we manifesting it? Is this what's been going on all the time when it comes to paranormal experiences, but we just haven't looked at it through this lens of a what if? What if it was a bleed through in time and sometimes not even drastic? Because I always like to think about the residual hauntings and we're able to look back in time through those. But you know, a lot of times we're talking about the Eastland disaster or Elizabeth Short's murder, things like that. But what if it's, it can literally be from the night before? You know, Ursula Bielski, I interviewed her one time about EVPs, about just, you know, the, the methodology and the theory behind doing these recordings. And she said, if you 
do this long enough, you'll start to hear your own voice coming back. I don't know, there's, it's just fascinating to think about all of this highly conceptual stuff. So, sorry that this video isn't a, hey cool, let's check out this haunted cemetery. Still have plenty of those coming, including some crazy ones just recently. Uh, Wendy and I did a, uh, a tour across the southeast and went to some insane places. So we'll still have those lighter hearted ones, but when it comes to the paranormal investigation, and, and this is all exciting because it's all about theory and trying to understand why we're observing what we're observing. So uh, thanks for toughing out this, <laughs> this deeper one. Um, and if you are interested in the newsletter, it's whatsyourghoststory.com. Also head on over to a Ghost Hunter Watches uh, YouTube channel. I just did a review of The Nun, which is um, a lot more Hollywood fun, much more. Anybody can watch that one and enjoy it. Uh, again, thanks for watching and check out more at whatsyourghoststory.com.